Hello guys uh, and gals, if a girl is watching this video, I highly doubt it. Um, if you are, thanks for being here honey, I appreciate it. So, we're continuing with our Halloween night of videos. Tonight is Halloween, it's 9.57pm while I'm recording this video. And I'm doing deterministic signals versus random signals. Yes, I am. Uh, what am I going to do now? What we're going to do is we're going to take live notes on the Surface Pro 2. I have a video on how to take notes on Surface Pro. This is the Pro 2. It's better in every aspect as far as battery life and CPU and everything. So uh, we're just going to see how the screen and actual detection performs and the pen. I think they have not changed the pen. I'm not sure about the digitizer, but we're going to do it. What we're going to do is we're going to do a different page from my communications note and we're going to talk about some determining and random signals and see how this thing can be used uh, while you're taking notes like you're taking notes on paper. Um, so let's start. What I did on this one is I used a lot of blue and some black on my notes. So I'm first going to go to draw here and I'm going to pick up a black pen and I'm going to start by writing right here. I'm going to start by saying uh, oh, by the way, this thing needs to be calibrated. So let's calibrate that first. I was using a different pen for it. So let's do the calibration. I should have done the calibration probably earlier. Sorry. There we go. Calib. Calibrate the screen for pen and touch input. Calibrate. Pen input. Pen. Pen. Pen and pen. Oop, oh, pen. There we go. You want to save it? Yes. It should be a little bit better. Usually, mm, it's okay. ThinkPad tablet is better because it actually has right now. It does have dedicated drivers from back home. I don't know if uh, how this thing goes. This there is like I don't know. You probably can't see it from my big old hand, but there's a little bit of a. Uh, issue right there but it's okay we'll get used to it you know what, what, what you need to do is you need to learn to not follow the tip of the pen but actually follow what the uh, the little black cursor is touching so we're gonna start by writing wow this is really thick signals that's what we're doing so let's go back to draw and I pick up a blue pen signals can be deterministic or they can be random. For example, a deterministic signal would be x of t equals 3 cosine 2t. Why is the signal deterministic? Well, you know what x of t is for every t that's out there. It's defined. It can be continuous. I don't know if I can spell continuous. Continuous. Sorry. There's an E right there versus discrete, meaning sampled time. A little bit up. Let's take a black pen. There's the black pen. So a continuous time signal will be a, uh, a wave, something like this. As you can see, it is defined. There are no gaps. A discrete one will be will be defined here, will be defined there, be defined here, over here will be like that. That's the difference. I'll go back to blue, because that's what I did in the past, about six to eight months ago. Signals can be periodic. Or, yes, yes, a periodic. A periodic signal, not just a periodic signal, but a periodic signal, would be something like x of t equals x of t plus big T, or tau, whatever you want to call it. For an aperiodic signal, there will be no tau. A power signal, yes, you can have power signals that their shape is defined. Their type is defined, 
by the amount of power that they have. You can have energy signals. Energy signals are defined by the amount of energy that they carry. And it all depends on if they are contained or if they go to infinity, if they just open up. For example, the average power of a signal equals 1 over its period. Oh, by the way, this is not tau. I just realized this is not tau either. I don't want to give... I know this is not about communications, but I don't want to give out bad information. This is T, period T. The signal for what it is, the signal equals to itself after it repeats itself. That's what periodic signals mean. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time. There is no period for a periodic signal. They're just random. They're like... Well, there's... You know. Wow, Andy. Good job, buddy. You know, so like something like that, where there's no period, where a sine wave is the same so it's the same over here and it's the same over here and that's T anyway this is not in the notes so I'm not gonna keep it here but I didn't wanna give you guys bad information so there's no period right there anyway the average uh, a power of a power signal is uh, 1 over its period and then we're gonna integrate it from the T over 2 to T over 2 x squares of x squared of t dt an energy signal you cannot measure its power but you can measure its energy and e sub x will be minus infinity to infinity of x squared t dt we'll move to the late make a little bit more room for us because we're going I wrote if e sub x is less than infinity then we have an energy signal once this integration is complete, I mean. If, oh wow, press the wrong button. E sub x goes to infinity, then we have a power signal in our hands. An example. Sure. Let's get red and write example. Let's pick up our black pen again. x sub t equals a cosine 2 pi f naught t. Now, cosine squared means there are no negative parts of the cosine. It's all on the positive scale. Therefore, this is a power signal. Now, did I just come up with that because of this? No, I'm copying my notes. I knew about it six months ago, I guess, but now I don't really understand it. I do understand the cosine squared is all positives, but uh, does this make it automatically power? Uh, we can think about it for a second. Does its energy go to infinity? Because that's what that means. Hmm. Let's look at this integral from negative infinity to infinity of cosine squared. Oh yeah, of course. Well, cosine squared. <laughs> that's what that comes from. X squared t. Cosine squared t. If you integrate the signal from negative infinity to infinity, you're going to get an infinite answer because this thing goes from negative infinity to infinity, and you squared it, you get all the positives. Um, this is a power signal. Great. Now we understand. We just remembered. Thanks to you guys, while trying to show you guys how this thing works, I'm actually catching up back on my uh, forgotten uh, communications knowledge. Anyway, let's put a, a Cartesian coordinate system right here and draw this cosine. And a cosine will be something like this. Oh my god, I'm horrible at drawing. Yes. And then if I mark here and here, then I would have this as my T which will also equal to 1 over f naught, which will be the um, uh, frequency of this cosine wave. 1 over the frequency equals the period. We know that. You guys know that. You guys should have learned that in uh, pre-calculus, if you have ever taken pre-calculus. Anyway, the uh, average power, now we can calculate the average power, is going to be 1 over t, and I'm going to do it from 0 to t, or t over 2 to t over 2. It doesn't really matter. It's just one full period. It's going to be a squared cosine squared, a is the amplitude of the signal, by the way. 2 pi f naught t dt, which is going to equal to a squared over 2t, square brackets, integral of 0 to t. We just pulled the constant out for this one. Um, dt plus another integral of cosine 4 pi 
f naught t dt. Now, this, we know that it's t. This is 0. Why is that 0? I don't know. I have no idea. Cosine 4 pi f naught t of this, why will this go to 0? Cosine of 4 pi f naught t. Um, I can't figure out why this is 0, but I wrote 0 here, so it's totally fine. It's 0. So we're going to have t here. This t is going to cancel with that t, so our final answer is going to be a squared over 2. So now we have just proved uh, by using simple integral that um, the average energy of this signal is a squared over 2. What do we have here? Let's look at what we have written. It doesn't even matter the numbers. We're here to look at how the notes are being taken. That's what we have. What do we start with? That. These are my original notes. So in order to compare them better, maybe I can, like I did with the uh, other video, I can probably, hold on guys, for one second. There we go. Much better. So, we can zoom in and put this thing, put these two things side by side. Um, it's there. It can be done. It takes notes. It takes great notes. Everything is nice, crisp, clean. It's fast. Um, but is this thing better than this guy? No, it's not. For note taking, ThinkPad Tablet 2 is still the king. It's smaller, it's thinner, it's lighter, it gets better battery life, it's less than half the price, it's fanless, makes no noise. It's my choice. If you don't buy a Surface Pro 2 to take notes, buy a Surface Pro 2 because you want a Surface Pro 2. You want, you like the Surface Pro 2, you, for, other, for its other reasons, you want something more powerful that gets horrible battery life whatever it is and then use it for its um, other benefits such as its great screen by the way these lines that you're seeing right now I can't see them in real life my camera is <laughs> doing them however it's really funny that uh, they don't exist on the Surface Pro 2 why Surface Pro 2 has a better screen do you need a better, better screen while you're taking notes in class no you don't you know what you need you need battery life you need thinness you need no noise you need no heat uh, you need no weight. Those are the things that you need when you're at school 12, 13 hours a day, 14 hours a day, going from lab to lab, taking notes, trying to, you know, get ready for um, exams and things like that. So, as you can see, Surface Pro 2, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the ThinkPad Tablet 2 can do note taking just as good, if not better, than the Surface Pro 2. Can ThinkPad Tablet 2 play the games? Play games like Surface Pro 2? It cannot, no. Can it run MATLAB as fast as it does? No, it cannot. The, how about PSPICE and uh, other things? No, it, it cannot. But for light browsing, PDF reading, and note taking, there is nothing in the market that is better than the ThinkPad Tablet 2. Uh, I guarantee it. Thanks for watching.